After you've completed the initial integration between your Craft.io uh, workspace and your Jira project and mapped between the desired fields, the next step would be to put the webhook in place. The Jira webhook would allow uh, automatic synchronization of uh, updates uh, as well as new items that are being created on your Jira project side to flow in uh, automatically and seamlessly into your craft workspace. And that will allow you to treat craft as a source of truth because all the information that you will find there uh, is uh, most up to date and reflects the current state of your uh, Jira project. So how to create a new webhook? Uh, let's head to Jira to uh, the settings. Bear in mind that in order to create a webhook, you do need a Jira administrator. So if you're not that person, make sure to uh, contact the relevant person within your organization. So heading to uh, system and then in the uh, menu, scrolling all the way down until we reach webhooks. Let's create a new webhook from here. We need to name it first. This is a new webhook. And under the URL, bear in mind that we're not pasting the uh, workspace URL, rather than heading to craft and copying from the integrations menu, the link that you have over here. This is a unique link that will uh, associate your uh, workspace to the, uh, the project when it triggers uh, events. So copying the link from here back to Jira, let's paste it under the URL. And in terms of uh, the different items, that, uh, the different uh, uh, events, sorry, that we want to trigger an update to Craft.io, uh, let's tick the boxes next to comments, issues, work log, uh, and issue link, and scroll down. Also tick all the boxes under uh, version. If you have a lot of uh, uh, data in your Jira project and you don't want to sync uh, all the items uh, and update all uh, item types uh, in your craft workspace, you could refine it using a JQL query. Uh, and for example, only uh, push items with a particular status. Once this is set, I'm scrolling down and creating the webhook. Great, so we have a webhook uh, created. Now, in order to see in your craft workspace that uh, a new webhook is created and connected, we need to fire at least one event from Jira to craft uh, to create that connection. So any item uh, that you have in your Jira project updated, uh, update even the, the title or the description uh, to fire the first event. Back to craft. Once you do that, you will see the icon turns blue, which means that the webhook is connected. Well done.